Hello everyone, I want to talk today about some of the techniques I used to create this image, uh, which was basically extracting out certain RGB values in a terrain map in order to uh, create specific points of different textures. So let's do this. So I recommend going here and downloading Midge Mantista Cineveve's uh, free landscape pack full of 8K textures, really high quality. Um, these are incredibly good. Uh, they look fantastic and uh, they offer certain, um, some of the maps offer a lot of really great uh, detailed uh, adjustments that you can use. I'm a huge fan of uh, some of the stuff that I'm gonna show you today. Very excited about it. Um, we're gonna go ahead and go here. I just opened up uh, Cinema 4D. I dropped in a plane that's 800 by 800. It's only one segment across, or not across, but one segment wide, and you know what I mean. Um, so very simple. We're going to go ahead and drop in a material, and I'm also going to add an octane daylight just to get a little bit of color in the scene. Looking good. So let's go ahead and add, uh, let's open up the flow chart here. And let's select our glossy material. We're gonna want to add first, let's do the displacement map. All right, uh, let's go ahead and change this type from normal to float because this map is a pure black and white grayscale value map, um, and it saves a bit of VRAM if you change it to float. Uh, we're gonna drop that into the displacement. Displacement, we're gonna change to 8K because that's an 8K texture. Uh, we're gonna change that to 0.5. And then this one I've already tested, pretty much you can crank this up to, let's say 300 and be good. So let's pipe that into the displacement. Wait a second for it to update. There we go. Ooh, maybe not 300. Let's go ahead and change that down to like 200. That might be better. Let's go ahead and resend that. All right. Cool. So now we're going to drop in the normal texture, which is something that we've all seen before. Up into the normal, looking good. I think because it's so bright, I'm going to drop this color down to more of a gray. You can see it, there we go. Now we can see all the detail in there. Um, perfect, so now what we're gonna want to do is uh, look at what these other maps are. So we look at this flow map, you can see the blue and the, and the reds and then the greens in here. There's a whole bunch of color information. We just need to extract it. So we gotta figure out a way to extract the blues from the reds and the greens, or the reds from the blue and the greens, or the greens from the red and the blues. And uh, figure out a way that's way simple and way easy to do. So what we're gonna want to do is actually go in here, copy this texture. I'm gonna change the color to a black, just a pure black, and I'm actually gonna go in and change it from a diffuse, from a glossy to a diffuse. Um, and I may not make this fully black. I think I'm just going to do very dark. Um, cool. So now what we're going to want to do is also create a mix node. I'm going to drop these guys in here. I'm not going to take the time to label them just because I'm very lazy. Um, all right. So. Another important thing is that in a mixed material, uh, none of these displacement maps work anymore, just alone. So what we need to do is take it, move it over here into the main displacement for the octane material, and we can delete these guys. So our goal from before uh, is to extract the RGB values from this flow map so we can use them to map different textures onto this terrain right so uh what we want to do is going to go ahead and pipe this into the mix or the amount for the octane material um 
and I'm just gonna go ahead and apply the mixed material to there. But what we need to do in order to extract out the colors, we need to apply a multiply node and an RGB spectrum node. And this needs to change to the color that we want to have extracted. So I'm gonna change it over here to red and apply it into texture two. So now if this will update in a second, I don't know if it will, just because Octane's a bit wonky sometimes. Um, it will show you right here, uh, well, show you right here, it's extracting out all of the red value from that map, which is great. That's exactly what we want. So if we go in here and fire up Octane, we should see black material. Here we go, our black texture right where the red values were. It's perfect. And we can even change it to any of the other uh, colors. So let's go ahead and hop in here. And let's say we want to extract out purely the green. Okay, well boom, there's the green. You can see, it's applied to the green areas. And if we want to clamp the texture a bit, we can go and add a gradient. And go ahead and clamp it up. There you go. And you can see the dark values right here. Yeah, that's looking great. Um, another thing we can do is look at the blue channel. What's great is that you can also mix these colors in beautiful ways. So there's that. I think we're going to need to go in the opposite direction for this one. Something like that. So it's a great way to take a look at uh, these certain RGB maps and apply textures to specific height and elevations. Um, speaking of height, we can go ahead and grab this one right here, the height map, and do the exact same thing. So let's go ahead, drag it, that in. I'm gonna change this value to red, and I'm just gonna pipe it into texture one. Boom, just like that. It's gonna take a second to update. I think I'm gonna to want to adjust this gradient. If we clamp that, there we go. Now we can see the height adjustments. So now it's affecting a certain elevation and you can clamp it more depending on where you really want it. It can, you know, slide it in just ever so gently or you can really get a harsh contrast right there. And let's see, I think another great value would be the greens that we can try out. So let's go ahead and look at the green value. Right there. And we can clamp it. Yeah. That's perfect. Clamp the values to get a harsh one, or you can uh, release them a bit to get a slow gradation um, and I think the last one to check out is the blue and I think those are the peaks I could be wrong or we can see if we clamp these values there we go the peaks so it offers especially in this pack an incredible amount of uh, control of where you want your textures to be placed, and it's it's really really cool. And uh, if you want to go ahead and separate out separate out all of them, you can do that. So if you want to just uh, let's see, go in here, add another one of these guys, and let's say we want to change these from blue, we want all green. And you can do that. And we can do the exact same. Move these guys down and just separate out the red channel. So let's go in here and add the red. You can go in and go from something like, I'm gonna pause this real quick, because it's 
not needed. Uh, we can go from simple to complex and we can add, we can start adding values. So we have this in value one, this in value two, this in value three. It just gets super complicated and really intense and you know, it's just a great way to map out all your textures. All right, there you go. Thank you so much for checking out this video. I hope it helps with, uh, you know, if you find yourself with any of these, uh, you know, specific RGB maps that you have no idea how to handle, and that's kind of how I was. Um, but I hope it helps uh, fix some of the confusion around them. And uh, I'll thank you so much for checking it all out.